Five ways the super rich manage to pay lower taxes. Want to manage to pay lower taxes? A recent report gives the impression that all rich people are able to avoid paying taxes, and we can assure you that there are plenty of high income and high net worth individuals who feel like they are getting kicked in the nuts with large tax bills. You've probably noticed that there's a reason why our phone gets clogged every year around tax season with people looking for expert tax planning advice beyond what they're getting from their current financial professionals. Hello viewers and welcome back to Unlimited Money. Today, we have brought some efficient tax planning strategies that can help you pay less amount of taxes. So are you pals excited? Let's dive into the video. But before we do that, please don't forget to hit the bell icon and subscribe to our channel. Whether you earn a paycheck, are self-employed, or a business owner, make money from investments, short-term or long-term, receive equity compensation like stock options, ISO, RSU, etc., or even retirement income such as annuity, social security, pension, or 401k withdrawals, each of your income streams may be subject to different tax rules and regulations. Finally, we have a progressive tax system, which means that the more you earn, the higher your tax rate should be. As you may have heard recently, many of the wealthiest Americans have discovered ways to be proactive with tax planning and financial planning in order to minimize the taxes they owed. Number one, and in many cases, billionaires have eliminated their federal income taxes. According to reports, billionaire Elon Musk was able to reduce his income enough to qualify for a $4,000 child tax credit. A few years ago, Nightline discussed how Donald Trump was able to pay only $750 in taxes. When compared to the wealthiest Americans listed in a famous journal reporting avoided income taxes, he appears to have been duped. In comparison, many of the methods he employed to avoid paying the IRS are out of reach for the average American. Some of the tax-cutting strategies employed by other billionaires, think plutocrats like Bill Gates, Elon Musk, Warren Buffett, or the Walton family, are more accessible to high-income and or high-net-worth Americans. Number two, taxes will rise, making tax planning advice even more valuable. What matters is not what you create, but what you keep. Taxes are about as low as they've ever been, even if it doesn't feel like it when you pay them, and they're likely to rise in the future. The desire of those with high incomes to minimize their taxes is growing, spawning a new generation of financial planners who go beyond just investment advice to assist their clients in minimizing taxes along the way. Wealthy families have become savvier, looking beyond flashy short-term investment returns to the bigger picture. This most likely means that looking at their total after-tax return on investments and net worth growth, as well as seeking advice on how to live a healthier, happier, and wealthier life now and in the future. President Biden has proposed significant tax increases that could significantly alter the wealth management strategies of the wealthiest Americans. To be clear, wealthiest most likely refers to those in the top 20 to 30 percent of income earners. Beyond the president, a sentiment of tax the rich pervades society. At the same time, our national debt is ballooning, and many baby boomers are unprepared to replace their pre-retirement incomes once they leave the workforce. Some of the proposals include raising the Social Security payroll tax cap from $148,800 to $150,000, increasing the capital gains rates paid on investments, and eliminating the step-up in bases at death for appreciated assets such as stocks or real estate. In the future, the size of an estate subject to estate taxes may also change. Wealthy families are demanding more from their financial advisors, financial planners, and wealth managers. Exotic or exclusive investments with high commissions or fees are becoming less popular. In many ways, investment options have become commodities. Expert financial advice, on the other hand, is the value that a great financial professional can bring to the table. This typically included a more comprehensive approach to assisting families in minimizing taxes, improving investment choices, and addressing estate planning needs not to mention acting as a financial therapist at times, finding ways to reduce financial stress, and simply help them live a happier, healthier, and even wealthier life. Number three, tax mitigation strategies for the high net worth. Potential tax increases have been all over the news, prompting many wealthy families in the United States to seek better tax mitigation advice. Don't get me wrong, taxes have always been a major concern for the wealthy, but the proposed tax increases have made this a more pressing issue that must be addressed, not to mention that they could completely upend the current strategies that many families and business owners employ today. When it comes to some of the taxes they pay, business owners have a lot of leeway. Setting up a defined benefit plan could allow many of them to significantly reduce their taxable income 
income each year. Many of the clients I've worked with on cash balance pension plans were unfamiliar with them. To be honest, I'm surprised their previous wealth managers hadn't mentioned them. I'm currently working on a plan that'll allow a client to spread nearly $1 million in income across his family members who work in the business each year. The money used to fund the plan has been sitting in a bank earning almost no interest. Number four, eliminating taxes on investment gains. Would you believe that many millionaires and billionaires can avoid paying taxes on the growth of their taxable investment portfolios? A capital gains tax bill is never pleasant, but smart tax planning can help keep taxes on your investments to a minimum or even eliminate them entirely. At the most basic level, there are four common ways to avoid paying taxes on investment gains. To begin, keep your investments in tax advantage accounts such as a 401k, IRA, or Roth IRA. When you make a withdrawal, taxes will become due. Income restrictions may also limit the benefits available here to the wealthiest Americans. The second method is to invest a tax-efficient manner. Being a little more prudent in your purchasing and selling can help you realize fewer capital gains, or at the very least avoid realizing short-term capital gains. Which are taxed as regular income? This is known as tax loss harvesting, which I'll go over further later in this video. The fourth method has been described as invest, borrow, die, which is a strategy commonly used by dynastic wealth families as well as newer multimillionaires and billionaires. Essentially, the invest, borrow, die strategy allows for unlimited investment gains with no capital gains or income taxes to be paid. You purchase investments or establish a company or business, but never sell your holdings. To use the value of your investments, you borrow against them and receive a tax deduction for the interest paid. The interest deduction can help you offset any gains in your portfolio. When you die, your cost based basis for your investment gains is increased. Because of the step up in basis, your heirs can sell the holding and not pay capital gains taxes. As a tax planning financial planner, I will point out that if you have a large net worth, you will need to minimize or eliminate estate taxes as well. Number 5. Tax Loss Harvesting During the process known as tax loss harvesting, certain investment shares are sold at a loss in order to reduce the amount of taxes owed on the investment portfolio at the end of the year. You are allowed to apply up to $3,000 in short-term losses toward offsetting the regular income you bring in. If you sell an investment that has generated a long-term capital loss for you, you may be able to use those losses to help offset the capital gains that resulted from the sale of other investments that were sold at a profit. The process of harvesting tax losses can assist wealthy investors in rebalancing or repositioning some of their assets while at the same time reducing the amount of tax that they are required to pay. We are just going to go over a few of the tax planning strategies that help billionaires pay as little or as much in taxes as possible. These are strategies that you too probably could use to help reduce the amount of taxes you owe to the government right now. If I try to explain in any further detail the other strategies that the wealthiest people in the United States use, I would bore you to death. It's necessary to have an income of millions upon millions of dollars in order to put into practice some of these strategies because they are prohibitively expensive, cumbersome, and complicated. Be proactive in reaching your financial goals and legally paying the least amount of taxes along the way, regardless of where you fall on the scale of net worth and income. This can be accomplished by taking steps to reach your financial goals. Friends, it's now time for us to wrap up our video. Did you like these tax reducing strategies? If yes, please hit that like button and let me know your reviews in the comments. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because more exciting videos are yet to come. Thanks for watching.